Welcome to Homework Help for uh, homework for Monday, August 20th, 2012, ordered pairs. For each of the following, explain where the ordered pair is graphed before plotting it on the coordinate plane. An ordered pair is uh, appears as a, a set of numbers. They're in order. X comes first and then Y. Uh, so they're kind of a pair. They just hang out together. Um, that's an ordered pair. Uh, before plotting it on the coordinate plane. This here is the coordinate plane. Okay, So uh, if we move to question A to graph the ordered pair 5 comma 3 begin at the origin. The origin is where the x-axis and the y-axis intersect and they they're both their zero points so we call that the origin. Okay, and we're going to graph the ordered pair of five ne negative five comma three. I'm sorry. We're going to graph the ordered pair of five comma three and begin at the origin and move a certain direction, a certain number of spaces, and then another direction, another number of spaces. So uh, five is positive, and it corresponds to the x position. So we have to go along the x-axis, positive five. So we'd start here, and this is the positive direction, which is right. So we'd write right five spaces and then three is on the y-axis so that goes up and down three is positive positive on the y-axis goes up so we go up three spaces so that's right five spaces up three spaces let's add that in and then so we're going to move right five spaces then up three spaces and then we graph that point A on the coordinate plane so we come over here and we go uh, right five spaces and then up three spaces so our point would go right there so we just mark that in blue as point A label it. And then we'll move on to our next question, B. To graph the ordered pair, oops, let's try that again. To graph the ordered pair, negative 2 comma 6, begin at the origin, we're going to move in the negative 2 direction, negative 2 along the x-axis. So, um, if this is the x-axis here, oops. if this is the x-axis here, uh, negative two is in the x position, so we're going to move two in the negative direction, so that's left two spaces, and then six in the y direction, positive six in the y direction. Well, here's a y-axis, positive six would be up, so we're going to move left two and then up six. So. We write that into our answer here at B. Left. Let's try that again. Left. Two spaces. And then up. Six spaces. And then we go back to our coordinate plane. And we graph that. Left. Two spaces. Uh, one, two, and then up six spaces. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'd be right there. So we just grab our pen and we mark out negative two, comma, six as point B. We label that as point B. And then we go ahead and move on to the next question. Uh, to graph the ordered pair negative six, seven. To graph the ordered pair negative six, negative seven, begin at the origin and move uh, a certain direction, a certain number of spaces, and then another direction, and another number of spaces. So we will be moving along the negative six along the x-axis. So here's the x-axis. Negative six would be to the left, and then negative seven is on the y-axis. So it would be negative 7, in, or we'd be moving 7 in the negative direction, which is down. So left 6 and down 7.
left six spaces, then down seven spaces. Finally, we go back to our coordinate plane, and we're going to graph that. Left six spaces, and then down seven spaces. We'll take our handy dandy pen and mark that point off and label that point as point C. I know that it's point C because that was problem C. Uh, let's do one more and then we'll let you guys do the rest. Okay, so here to graph D, to graph the ordered pair 3, negative 8, begin at the origin and move a certain direction in a certain number of spaces, then another direction in another number of spaces. So we will be moving 3 in the positive x direction. I know that because 3 is in the x position. So it's along the x-axis. Positive 3 would be to the right of the origin. And then negative 8. Uh, negative 8 corresponds to the y direction. Uh, negative is down along the y-axis. So we go ahead and write that in. Choose another color here. We'll move uh, right three spaces and then down eight spaces. We return to our coordinate plane. Right three spaces, down eight spaces would put the point right there. So we grab our pen. Right, three down eight, and then we label that as uh, point D uh, because the problem was problem D. So we'll label that as a D. Okay, uh, you folks should be able to handle the rest of this side of the homework, but don't forget there is a second side chopsticks. So please stay tuned. Here we have more of a word problem, uh, chopsticks. Mr. Trank's class went out for Chinese food and everyone had to eat with chopsticks. There are 27 students plus the teacher. So let's start with problem one. Well, we, we have a problem one, we have a problem two, and then they want us to write about how you could solve these problems using words, numbers, and operations to explain your thinking. So uh, almost all of your points for the side of the homework are going to come from how you write about how you could solve the problem using words, numbers, and operations to explain your thinking. Um, we want to see how you think. That's where we get the points from, not from just seeing an answer here and here and seeing this all blank. Uh, so we want some important good stuff in this area here. English sentences, pictures, whatever you want. So to continue, how many people ate Chinese food? Well, there's a nice big clue here. There are 27 students plus the teacher. How many people ate Chinese food? There are 27 students plus the teacher. Hopefully you can figure number one out from that clue. Uh, number two, how many chopsticks would the waiter have to bring to the table? So I'm sure most of you have had uh, Chinese food, but those of you who haven't, uh, you may not know that chopsticks always come in pairs. And then you use your hand to use one hand to control them, to pick up food. Uh, really handy. Anyways, um, so since they come in pairs, uh, we it's saying how many chopsticks would the waiter have to bring to the table? Where there, sh where well, there should be two chopsticks per two chopsticks per person. So how many people did we have? Well, then we'll look back at the answer to question one. And so for every person that ate Chinese food, there will be twice as many chopsticks since each one will have a pair or two chopsticks. So I want you to write about how you could solve this problem using words, numbers, or operations and explain your thinking. So make sure you fill all this in with writing, explaining what's going on in your brain and how you solved it. Okay? Uh, if you have any questions or um, challenges with the homework and need help, you can always contact uh, Mr. Schlepper at his mobile text, uh, his mobile number. Um, you can text him, 
And or you can contact me, Mr. Turrieta, at my mobile number, and you can send me a text, uh, whichever you're more comfortable with. You can always visit the website here to see these videos to help you out. And uh, this is the same address as this. This is just a shorter version, easier to type in. And this is even easier. If you have a smartphone with a scanner, you can just scan it in, and that'll take you directly to this website where these videos are posted. You can also download a copy of the homework if you lose the paper. And you can download a copy and print it at home if you have that available to you. Okay, thanks for joining us again. Go Bears! Rawr!